Have you ever wanted to make a Gorilla Tag fan game but don't have the skill? Well, this template has your back. All the links that I'm using in this video will be in the description down below. And I do recommend joining their Discord, which will also be in the description. So yeah. let's get into the video. First, you need to install Unity. I'm not going to be going into detail on how to do this, but uh, the link will be in the description, first link. Second, you need to go to the second link in the description for the actual template we're gonna be using, and then click code and then download zip right there. That should download there. And then you're gonna wanna do, go, go on it, and then click extract all, then it, uh, choose where you wanna extract it to. After that's done, you're gonna wanna op open Unity, and after you open Unity, add add project from disk down uh, wherever you saved. You find wherever you saved it. Double uh, click on it. Go inside. Go inside, and to the third gor uh, gorilla template, and then open. Then you might need to install an editor version. After you install that, you can just open it up and wait for it to load. It might take a look a little while on the first time of loading it up. Now once it is open you'll see a very blank uh, area of scenery and there is a fix to that. It's not broken. So you're going to want to go to Gorilla Template, Demo Scenes, and Demo Multiplayer. And then it'll look blue. Just give it a second to load. And now it's all loaded and you have everything you need to, to start a game. You have cosmetics, a mirror right here, computer, uh, room buttons, room codes, uh, player board, and to show you that these all work, I will test out the game. But before you test the game, you need to know how to actually set up multiplayer, which is really simple. So you need to go to the third link in the description, which will lead you to where we're going to get our server. So you're going to want to click, name it whatever you want. I'm going to do tutorial. And then after you do that, click the copy you click the copy button right here go back into unity where it says real time plus girl avatar click that and then where it says app key paste it in now you can play test so they start you off with this beautiful monkey here then i'm gonna move him right here so i'll type in a code Connecting. Okay, we're in that code now. And you can also play this on VR. Um, I'm just, I'm too lazy to get on my headset. But it shows the player board, the mirror. Let me do drag the monkey over here. Uh, okay. Click game, you can see it works. It's a working wardrobe, so you can cycle through them. I'll put on one of these. So as you can see, I have them on right now. And then I can unequip them by going choosing none. So I'll do that now. Now I don't have them on. Cosmetics obviously work. There are many more things to explore, like a full computer with working room codes, working name, working colors, and working settings. Make sure to join their Discord in the description. And thank you for the Normcore team for making this awesome template for people to use. Goodbye. Okay, uh, I forgot to mention this in the video, but to actually get this on your headset, you need to do File, Build Profiles, go on Android, Switch Platform. Once you once that's done loading, a you want to Texture Compression ASDC, and then click Build. Choose where you want to put it, then name it whatever, and let it do its stuff, which will take a bit. If this pops up, just click yes. This will take a bit, but it's worth it because you can upload it to things like itch.io or whatever else you can want to use to get it to your headset. Alright guys, so once it is done, it will show up with this screen. And then you can put that on itch.io and build it to your headset. Simple as that. 